of you might recognize this from my generation X and before. The principal might have had one in his coat. Teachers had them in their desk. Dad might have had one hanging out the kitchen door. But today, uh, we're going to try to form some copper. It has a little bit of damage. We're going to try to make our roof. And we have to kind of form it this way and form it that way for the roof of our truck. And I uh, have the edges kind of eased. And we're going to see what happens. I don't have an English wheel. Now, some of you might recognize this as hillbilly shit. And you'd be right. Okay. I don't know if you could see that. But there is creases, there we go. Creases in the copper. And I'm hoping it's a little bit of weight. I don't have sandbags. I hope that's enough. No, this copper is uh, springy right now. I could take a torch, but then it gets somewhere between springy copper and pizza dough. If I heat it up, it'll get really soft. I'll do that as a last resort. And there's a couple damaged creases up there I might have to hammer out on a flat piece of steel that I have. But I've never done this, but uh, well, all you could do is try. Okay, so I had the metal clamp. About as good as I could get it. And there's some, you know, out to pound those out. This is heavy oak I put on here so it could handle it. And it's a little plenishing hammer. And then there's some damage to the back that I'll get also, but hopefully these clamps will keep it from sliding around. So what I have on hand. It's fairly smooth, doesn't look like it, but I think I'd hold the camera the phone and do this. Nice and easy. Now I can pull this this tight again. Hopefully it's one over there. And then we have this fellow over here. I'm gonna have to slip a piece of steel up under that. You see the wood ends there, but yeah, I'll get a piece of steel under that, but that's a lot better. A little bit over here. This copper's soft. It's nice. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna use this as like a fulcrum and the weight of the milk jugs will hopefully persuade it. sides have to both it's going this way and that way the roof and at this edge I'm gonna try to get this all in one piece I was thinking of uh, cutting this off at the breeze and then hammering that out as a separate piece with rivets I'm gonna try to get this as one piece but you can see this has a has a ways to be worked and then this side that's a serious problem that crease actually makes the metal stronger than the surrounding area around it so i'm going to try to my buddy kelso brought by some uh 
don't know, what do you call them, body irons? But I'm gonna try to straighten that out. This oak is so rock solid. 1864 oak from my sister's barn. It's beautiful stuff. Okay, so I've been forming it and I feel pretty confident that I could cut this without too much waste and maybe even hit. I should have enough to fold under and make like a little lip. But see like this corner, see that ridge? This is influencing what's going on up here by the jugs pulling it. So I'm gonna cut both sides. Uh, Elizabeth got me a beautiful face shield. So I'm gonna put that on and cut it with this uh, little angle grinder cutoff wheel. should have done this earlier but I didn't realize that going on when I was up top here but I did have a board back here just in case and I still did a little nap right there just a tiny one. Oh, son of a gun but well and I mean it's just you know scratch the surface kind of thing but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna be conscious of that Might be Detroit, but we still have the birds chirping. Hear that maple water dripping. You hear it across the whole yard back here. I love it. And real quick, here's a here's a shot of the floor I finished up last night, and the original seats were gone, but these get springs, and here's the wind lace. I made it out of uh, heavy canvas and rope and the door panels the final door panels will cover that and it'll just poke out like that you can see it on the other side and it works really really well but man is this going to be cool that oak and I haven't sealed that oak yet I like to thin polyurethane in half with mineral spirits and uh that's again that old 1864 barn wood and that should it should look quite fun anyhow but now if you get a better look at this and that curve and curve this way and the curve under there that we have to get
sparkly is everywhere. <laughs> Kinda cool. That's it. Uh, all right. Okay. More coffee on the way. There's Milton. Yeah, he's a little, little dusty. Love that guy. Speaking of copper, nickel-plated stamped copper. Heavy, heavy. So I don't know if this stuff is work hardening. It's you know fresh copper roll anyway, and it's pretty springy. So. I might toss a heat shield up there, some sheet metal, and uh, I might torch this, heat it up. I'm gonna try it again before, uh, with, without doing that though, now that this, these sides are relieved and not influencing what's going on up here so much. Okay, so I entered a board up here, and I've never done this before, or anything like this, so I mean, you know, you're tempted to just hammer that over, but we want that curve, and we're actually starting to get it just a little bit. I don't know if you could detect that or not. The curve of the roof, and you're not going to get that just hammering it over. So what I'm trying to do with that board is stretch, stretch the metal on here without getting a pie crust on the edge. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have at it some more. So I took the took the visor off and it's like a clamp all the way across the windshield and I have cardboard up there going up against in case of clamp falls that don't break the glass or dent the gas tank or hood. But have this crazy anomaly already happened happening and we still have to get as you can see this to curve. So I'm gonna to try to push that part out to see if this curve just kind of happens. And, you know, if this is a failure, that's all right, at least we tried. Okay, on a quick personal note, if you're ever stepping off of something onto a milk crate, do not step in the middle. I've never done that, but I couldn't imagine. <laughs> I don't want to imagine. Um, that thing grabbing your foot. I actually sat on one once, not knowing it was broke. And when I went to get up, removed a little bit. Yeah. I probably still have scars back there. have no idea. Okay, so I've been struggling with daylight and went ahead and I started, I started tacking this all down. Now I'm gonna make a cap for the back and a cap for the front. This is a full width of the copper and it just happens to go go the boards. But um, you know, when I put some flat, I'm using these copper, they're probably just copper plated, but uh, I soldered soldered them and the whole roof on the second one just kind of had enough to solder and it boom it buckled and waved everywhere and i had to push it back up from the inside after it was nailed aye, aye, aye. but um yeah i'll i'll polish it up and let it just age 
on its own. This is a some packaging tape. I think maybe acetone will take that off. But we'll brighten it up and let it age on its own. I still have to nail the front down. But there it is so far. Okay, so here's the inside. And I have little strips of canvas up there, so it's still rattly. It's, it's still boomy. But uh got got my floral in and I still have to make little surround plates to seal those off. The, you know the engine heat and the, the noise and all that but this nice thick oak and I got that all clear coated today and this I don't know it's pretty cool it's all one piece I don't have to worry about vinyl but I still have to nail the front down let's go up front yeah this thing looks goofy without that without that visor in Yep, I'll get that all tacked down. I'll start on that now. And then I'm going to have to figure out what, what I'm going to do exactly about the sides here. And then I do have one little relief cut there. And a little solder, a little triangle. Maybe give it some rivets in a kind of decorative way, but this still has to be trimmed. And then, like I said, our back cap. It'll all be copper, and I'll give it a nice lip some copper tubing okay here's our front so far and I've been drilling these out and actually using a body hammer I could sink them in nice and flat and that slight little dish to the to the head and there's no hammer marks in the copper it's rough enough as it is but i'll go ahead and get the other side and we can run down this side i could trim that and tack that all in all righty still have this a trim there's some of this hanging down i can hand file that and give it a nice you could compared to the door see it will look at a nice even but yeah this is the hour too that'll it'll tell every little flaw but I might 